Yes. My name is Alyssa Plummer and I am one of the orientation assistants in the Office of Orientation and Transition Programs at Missouri State. And I'm Colin Weber, the other orientation assistant in our office. Congratulations on committing to Missouri State and welcome to your pre-orientation help and guide video, MSU 101. We're super excited that you guys are going to join us in the fall, but there are a few things we need you guys to do first. Follow along with us to see what steps you need to take next. Through taking MSU New One, you'll learn more about the academic advising process, the Missouri State General Education Program, tools to help you plan your path to graduation, and how to prepare for registration in your upcoming source session. MSU 101 typically takes 30 to 45 minutes to complete. It must be completed at least two days before your source session. We encourage that students complete MSU 101 by themselves. Parents and family members should not help their students complete this program, as this information is important for the students to know before they come to the source session. To access your housing application, first log into your My Missouri State account. Once you reach the home page, you will click over in the top left corner on the Campus Life tab. There, you can scroll down and on the bottom left hand corner, you will find your housing application. And simply just click Complete Application to start it. To fill out a commuter excuse form, as a first year student, you will go to the Missouri State website and then go to the Current Students tab at the top and click on the Residence Life option. Once you get to the Residence Life Housing and Dining Services page, you will scroll down to the Forms option, which is closer to the bottom of the page, and you'll click on that. Here you can find a request to live off campus before the semester begins. Once you click on that, you can scroll down and fill out the commuter form right here. If you are transferring a dual credit course to Missouri State or if you took an AP test or another exam, uh, we would like you to look up your transfer credits before you show up for your source session. This will help your advisors and SOAR leaders create the best schedule for you. In order to look up these equivalencies, you will first go to the Missouri State website. Once you get to this main page, you will scroll over to the student, Future Students tab and then Go down to the Freshman Admissions option. Once you get to this page, you'll scroll down, and on the left-hand side under the What You Should Know box, you will find the Admitted Student Checklist. Once you click on this, you will see on the left-hand side again that there is a Student Resources option that says Transferring Credit to Missouri State. Once you click on this option, you will come to a page that tells you all about transferring credits to Missouri State. To look and see how your dual credit transfers, you will go to the Course Equivalencies Guide to compare how your course will have transferred from the college in which you took it with to Missouri State. In addition to that, you can look at the Advanced Placement Exams Equivalencies or the IB Equivalencies as well. If you need to take a placement exam before attending your SOAR session, you can once again go to the main Missouri State page. And in the search box, you can type in SOAR to bring up the SOAR page. And once you get here, you can scroll down and click the prepare for your session option. Once you get here, you can go to the consider taking placement exams option where you will find how to take the placement exams that you need for your SOAR session. Lastly, in order to have a successful day at SOAR, it's really important to make sure that you can log into your My Missouri State account. If you're not quite sure how to do that, you can go to the main Missouri State website once again and search the IT Service Portal in the little search bar in the top right corner. Here you can scroll down and click on the option that says Welcome to the IT Service Portal at Missouri State University. On this tab, they will have a new to MSU option, which will give you all the information that you need to log into your BearPass account and email.